is to your old Oh, 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 yes. Hello, welcome to another Rick Royan episode of Get Your Own Back. Yes, that show that gives you the chance to get your own back on those adults who make your lives really awful. Look, here's my little teddy. I thought I'd lost him. What's that? Hey. Oh, you want me to tell him a teddy bear fact? Would you like to hear a teddy bear fact? Yes, Well, did you know that in 1989, a teddy bear was sold for £55,000? <laughs> Teddy says yes. <laughs> anyway, we've got some great games and we've got some great prizes to give away today, including today's star prize, which is an amazing computer game. <laughs> oh, yes, indeedy. But first of all, let's meet our first challenger and find out why they want to get their own back as we meet the Reds. My name is Warren Reed. I come from Kingswood and Bristol, and I want to get my own back on my dad for a number of reasons. Warren. That's him now. I wonder what he wants this time. He's always making me feed the dogs, and that's not all. The main problem is, he's a prison officer, and sometimes he forgets he's not at work. Oh, no, not to again. Dad, it's me, your son, Warren. Let me out. OK, Warren. Let's see if we can get you some time off of good behaviour. Have you done your homework? Yeah. Have you fed the dogs? Yeah. Then you can go out. Yes! I've done a 13-year sentence with my dad. Please help me to get my own back on him. Right, here we go. Welcome, Warren and Peter! Hello, hello, welcome to the show. I'll tell you what, Warren, I was watching that and I absolutely felt for you there. <laughs> does, I mean, does he really do that? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. he does. Well, we're going to find out a bit later on anyway. By the way, how long have you been a prison officer? Uh, nearly ten years. Whoa, so it's a long old time. Long time. A long old time. Well, I'll tell you what, we're going to try and make your wish come true, Warren, as we play Brain Box! <laughs> Warren's got to choose a category of questions for Peter to answer by hitting a target. So, if I were you, aim and fire, sir. <laughs> Whoa! Subject matter is the world. Warren, go to the mangle. Here we go. I'm going to find the questions for you. Here we go. Well, well, well. Here they are. <laughs> Come with me. Now, I understand, right, when, when Warren wants anything pressed in a hurry and he asks for it, you say the amazing words, no, get off your backside and do it do yourself. It yourself. Is that true? That's right. Oh, great, because we've got something for you. What we want you to do is iron these pillowcases, then put the pillows inside the pillowcases and take them through the mangle whilst answering questions on the world. You've got about a minute in which to do it. Ten points for each correct answer question, plus five bonus points should you get the pillow with the cover on successfully through the mangle. Do you think you can do it? Nope. <laughs> no, neither do I. Right, here we go. Your time starts now. Which country includes the states of Queensland and New South Wales? Australia. Australia's right. Get the pillow in the pillow. Oh, pillow in the pillow, okay? The Marseillaise is the national anthem of which country? Uh, France. It's right, France, yes! That's the one. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, dear, they are very quickly come back. Next one, here's your pillow. Here we go. The Little Mermaid is a statue in the harbour of which European capital oh, city? <laughs> What's that? Pass, don't know. Copenhagen, there you are. Santiago is the capital of which South American Republic? Oh, Argentina. Pass. Chile, <laughs> never mind. The Cape of Good Hope is at the southern tip of which continent? Oh, don't know. Africa. The Rio Grande marks the border between the United States and which neighbouring country? Mexico. Yes, right, go! <laughs> You cannot have that one, but I will tell you what you have scored. Here we go. You got 30 points there for three correct answer questions, plus 10 bonus points for the two pillows on the bed. A total score of 40 points. <laughs> now it's time to meet the yellow team and find out why a certain young lady wants to get her own back. I'm Laura 
Bell and I'm from Gateshead. I play in the Felonegionaires Junior Marching Band. And I want to get my own back on our train at Amanda Lundberg. I've been in a junior marching band since I was two years old and I love it. We're going to be lame tonight, I've been trying! But Amanda shouts and she is so bossy and it drives me mad. Will you stand up straight? Arms by your sides! So I think it's time somebody gave Amanda her marching orders. What do you think? Please welcome Amanda and Laura. Yes, well, what can I say? Laura, is she like that, really, all the time? I mean, does she really shout at you like that? Yes. Really? What's the worst thing she's ever done to you all? Make we stay until 10 o'clock at night. 10 o'clock at night? Did, you, did she feed you or anything at all? No. Oh, what? What does everybody think of that? Yeah. That is absolutely terrible because not only do you work with this marching band, but you also have another job, don't you? What do you do? Nursery nurse. A nursery nurse. It makes you wonder what she puts those children through. I say, no, you can't play with that! <laughs> and being, being a bit nasty with them. Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going, we're going to try and make your dream come true as we play Brain Box! Yeah. Amanda, attention! Oh, that was briskly done, wasn't it? Anyway, time now for Laura to choose a category of questions for this poor lady here to answer. Please, aim and fire at a target. Go on, you can do it. Go on, go on, go on. Uh, <laughs> yes! Subject matter is music. Please, Laura, go to the mangle as quickly as you can. Here's the music questions. Now, I understand that you absolutely hate Dealing with squashy things. <laughs> Is this true? Yeah. Oh, great, because right here I've got for you a load of squishy oranges. Isn't this fun? You have to peel them whilst answering questions on music. You've got about a minute to do it. Ten points for each correct answer question, plus five bonus points for each peeled squishy orange, right, <laughs> through the mangle. Your time starts now. The name of Larry Adler is closely associated with which musical instrument? Harmonica. It's right, go! <laughs> She knew that anyway! <laughs> Go on, Amanda! That's it. Broom tube! Oh, that was really good, that was, wasn't it? Come back, here we go. Right. Don't talk about love, walking on air, and more to this world were hits for which group? Bad Boys Inc. Bad Boys Inc, yeah, go! <laughs> Is Aaron Paul a vocalist? Don't know. Worlds apart. Yes, everybody knew that. La Scala is a famous opera house sited in which Italian city? Don't know. Milan. Which Barry Manilow song became a hit for Take That? Could it be magic? It could be. There you go. <laughs> I'm going to find out how you've done. Well, you've scored 30 points for three correct answer questions, plus two peeled oranges in the bowl, ten bonus points, a total of 40 points! <laughs> Let's have a look at the scores after round one. Well, Amanda of the Yellows has scored 40 points, but get this, so has Peter of the Reds, both 40 points! <laughs> ah! And there's the sound. That's the sound that means it's now time for the knockdown bonus game. This is where the challengers get the chance to knock ten points off of their partner's scores. Are you both ready? Yeah. Great. Come with me. Here we go. Very quickly. Come over here and take your positions. That's it. Very good. Now, it's the first one to build the tallest tower of blocks in 30 seconds. Who gets the bonus? On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 
menos pega. Oh, Deus. Find out how they've done right. Laura, you got two bricks. That's great. Warren, hey, so have you. You got two bricks. That means you both get the bonuses. Come over here. Because they knocked down, they parked the score to just 30 points each. <laughs> oh, level pegging. I wonder who's going to end up in my chair. Oh, I don't know that, Alton and old mate. Because now they've got to play Chumps Challenge! <laughs> Because Amanda is a nursery nurse and Peter is a prison officer, we at Get Your Own Back have combined both their jobs together to make one game. The game is called Escaped Babies and this is how it goes. When I say go, both Chump and Challenger have to crawl through the tube and collect a spade. They then have to go to the balloons, burst them and find a dummy. Then into the ball pond, out of the ball pond, hopefully with a baby teddy bear. Inside this cage they must go and find the key. Once they find the key, they unlock the door once they've unlocked the door, they then have to hoist this flag aloft and the person who does that first wins the game. Now, in the case of the chump, they get themselves 10 points for each item collected. There are four along the way. However, should they finish well before our challenger, they also get themselves 20 extra points. So, Reds, are you ready? Yep. On your marks, get set, go! That's it, the panel. Making sure they've got the spade on the way through. Man, are you all right in there? Oh, look, Peter's inside. <laughs> I think he's first out with the spade, though. That's good. That's it, in there. That's it. That's it, what? That's it, he's found the dummy. That's excellent, that's excellent. Now he's got to find himself a teddy, find a teddy. He found the teddy. Oh! <laughs> Have you got the key? Up the key, open up. And hoist the flag. That's the one! Whoa! Whoa! Well done! Well done! You've managed to get all of the four items there. You've also hoisted the flag. You've got it all. 60 points! <laughs> Now it's the turn of the yellows to have a go at this game. Are you both ready? Yeah. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> That's it. Oh, oh, Laura's first away. Oh. Oh. I think Amanda's OK. You're OK there, Amanda. That's it, Laura, well done. You've got the spade. Now you've got to burst the balloon, quick! Burst the balloon! So close, and yet so far, all you've got are the four items. You get 40 points! <laughs> wow, what a race! Everything was so close, isn't it? Well done, Laura! Yes, but things aren't looking too good for Amanda. Let's look at the scores after round two. 
Well, Amanda of the Yellows has scored 70 points, but leading with an amazing 90 points is Peter of the Reds. <laughs> There's that sound time once again for the knockdown bonus game. Challengers, come with me. Right, very quickly, and take your places, please. It's very simple, four questions, and all you've got to tell me is which animal lives where. Here we go. What animal lives in an earth? Question one. Go on. Very quickly, I'm going to have to rush you. That's lovely. Right, here we go. Question two. Which animal lives in a set? Very quickly, that's it. Number two, that's lovely. Third one, which animal lives in a halt? Which animal lives in a halt? Come on, think about it. Oh, have you done it? Have you done it? Lovely. Last one, uh, which animal lives in a warren? Oh, this should be easy. <laughs> have we done it? Have we done it? OK, stop what you're doing. I'm going to find out how they've done. But before we do that, I'm going to tell you what they are. A fox lives in an earth. A badger lives in a set. An otter lives in a halt. I didn't know that. And the last one is a rabbit lives in a warren. So here we go. Laura, let's see if you've got it right. No, 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 no in that case. None right there. Oh, it's a bit unfortunate. And in your case, Warren, let's take a look. No, no, no. And the last one, Warren, a rabbit. Yes, absolutely. You in the bonus, you knock down Peter's score to 80 points. <laughs> Puzzle time, that's the name of round three, and today's game is The Labyrinth. Up until now, the challengers have been trying to stop the chumps from gaining way, way too many points. But in this particular case, things are going to be changed. Please, swap around. Go on, go on, go on, go on. That's lovely. Now, all they're going to do is to help the opposition get as many points as they can. You two, go away to my soundproof booth. Go on, off you go. Tra -la -la. As for you, madam, I need you to go over to the control area. So, off you go. That's nice, Amanda. And come with me to the front of the labyrinth. That's lovely. I'm going to explain to you what you have to do. Inside the labyrinth, there are three trolls. Each troll is worth 25 points. It is up to Amanda to guide Warren through as quickly as she can within one minute. Should he manage to get the trolls, she then has to guide him out well within that minute to get themselves 25 extra bonus points. 100 points in total. Are you ready to do this? Yep. Good. Turn to face the maze. Amanda, are you ready in control? Yes. Very good. Your minute starts now. Forward, forward, You've got yourself 100 points! Yeah! Now it's Laura's turn to be guided through by Peter. And if Peter wants to get away with the key to freedom and avoid the gunge, he needs to get maximum points. OK, turn to face the maze. Are you ready? Peter, are you ready in control? Yes. Your minute starts now. Go forward, 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 right, 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 left, left, left. Right, keep going left, left, right, 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 left, keep going. Keep going. No, no, keep going. That's right. 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 Sorry, left. Left. That's right. Keep going. Left. 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 Right. Back out. One shot. Uh, keep going. More forward. Forward. Right. Right. Back. Turn back the other way. Go, go, go. Right. 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 Keep forward. No. Back. Go back a bit. Turn round. Forward. No. Sorry. That's right. Go. Go, go, go. Left. Right, left, that's right, right, Got it. right, back out, back Two out, fast you can, fast you can, turn left, right, no, 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 back out, back out, forward, left, 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 Five. Uh, stop, Four. back, three, back, no, One. go back. Laura, stay right where you are, I'm going to find out how you've done. By the looks of it, you've got two trolls there and you're still inside the maze. You've helped Peter get 50 points! <laughs> Let's take a final look at the scores after round three. Well, Peter of the Reds has scored 130 points, but today's winner with 170 points is Amanda of the Yellows! <laughs> Band made 
interaction with the big mouth. You get this, your key to freedom. You don't have to go anywhere near the slime. How do you feel? Brilliant. <laughs> In a word, and that's it. Well, tell you what, you also deserve this as well. Your clever clock certificate, so you can show that to your marching band and shout at them with your heart's content. Laura, what can I say? I'm really sorry. So close and yet so far, but you don't go away empty-handed because you'll be taking home with you and get your own back sweatshirt and hold all, a pair of streetwise trainers, and also you get a nice choice from the prize boutique. So what would you like? Game gear. You'd like the game gear? That's a good choice. You also get to take away with you a couple of sticks of rock. So I'll tell you what, give them a big round of applause, please. Well done, the pair of you. Oh, I'm going to look forward to this bit. What about you, Warren? Yep. <laughs> oh, good, because you know what's going to happen now, don't you, Peter? Yeah, yes, yeah, it's now yeah. time for the gun dunk. <laughs> Here we are in the gunk dunk, where Peter is about to go plop. But I'm going to be really nice about this, Peter. I'm going to throw you a lifeline. If you can answer five correct questions in under 45 seconds, you lock out the mechanism that throws you into this vat of gun chair and you will open the slime above young Warren's head, making him very messy into the bargain and thus turning the tables. However, should you get it wrong, he pulls the lever, you fall in. <laughs> Is that all right with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tough, you're here and that's that. OK, now the questions I'm going to ask you all have an obvious answer that begins with the letter S. However, the answers that you give me cannot begin with that letter. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. Oh, he does. <laughs> do you think he's going to do it? Let's find out. Here we go. 45 seconds to avoid the letter S. It starts. Now, how do men remove unwanted facial hair? Razor. Good one. What kind of animal goes bad? Woody animal. <laughs> yeah, two. I'll have that. You add it to food and it's often paired with pepper. Um, boom, boom. <laughs> Gonna have to rush um, <laughs> Oh, next question. <laughs> what is the day after Friday? Uh, the day before Sunday. Oh, go on then. What do you get if you mix beer with lemonade? Um, watery beer. <laughs> no, I'm not having that. What was the name of the great English playwright who wrote Romeo and Juliet? Um, oh dear. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you only got for it. You know what happens now, don't you? <laughs> Warren, get ready, pull that lever and get your own back! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Here is your get your own back trophy. This is for you. I bet you feel really pleased. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, thank you very much for taking part. You also get to take away with you and get your own back home door with all the usual goodies, plus today's star prize, a fabulous computer game! Yeah. Yes! Thank you very much for taking part. Where is the man? Oh, look, it's just the head bobbing about. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> all right, but thank you very much for taking part. What a yeah. brilliant sport you are. That's all from us today, and remember this, it's not how you win or lose the game, it's how you get covered in guns. Goodbye!